You know, I'm from the Dominican Republic, and I call on this one bullshit. Bullshit. Christopher Columbus actually uh, came, first came through the Americas, stopped first at the Bahamas, and then made a home in the Hispaniola, Dominican Republic. We're very proud of that history. Uh, we celebrate it. Good, bad, the ugly, different. Because it's our history. It's our identity. We're not trying to erase our history. Because when you lose your history, you lose your identity and your pride of self. Your pride of country. That's what they're trying to do to you. To remove your pride of self, your pride of country, and remove your history. Don't give me that bullshit of Christopher Columbus. Let's hear it. It's no longer a Christopher Columbus statue in front of City Hall. Yeah, crews started working to take that statue down overnight, and NBC4 was the first to break the news to you. Our Hattie Hawks explains what this means to the city and others. Right behind me is where that Christopher Columbus statue once stood, and it was an Sad. emotional morning for those who wanted Sad. to see it gone. What a bunch of weak ass people just letting their history standing. be removed. This is a historic day in Columbus, uh, regardless of how you feel. Don Sellers out early getting a tire fix, didn't know he was about to witness history or the emotions he felt. No, 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 no. I actually, he had to do like this and as witness the racing of history. Type of way about the symbol of Christopher Columbus. Oh, shut up. City shut leaders announced the statue would be Feel some type of way about this. From the community Tell me any history Christopher about Christopher Columbus. Columbus. You know anything about Christopher Columbus? And not someone who should be glorified. I saw years of oppression. Um, he obviously had slaves. Um, oh, I shut the hell up. A guy who I was taught. Shut the hell up. Must it, oh. so, whether that's true or not, um, it's still a statue. And it's still a symbol. A symbol to him, he understands, is history to others. Like Landa Brunetto, whose father helped make the bolts that secured the statue for decades. My grandfather and my father stayed up all night getting the mold, pouring it, cooling it. Ah, uh, why, girl? Down. She supports She's a slavery, of the club who right? Get the statue to Columbus and says its removal should have been voted on. Whatever the nationality of the immigrants are, this is a slap because that's what this is about. No, should not be voted on. That statue was it's history. You don't get to Columbus, vote Ohio. on history. And I hope history back home. I hope is history. Back to you don't get to vote on it. You don't get to vote whether you get to keep history. You don't get to vote whether you like to admit or clean or clear up or erase or reinvent history inclusivity because it's history. for the statue we know that that is in storage for now local for you in columbus Hattie Hall, keep letting 94. your country being taken from you i'm gonna go even further on that 1492 is when christopher columbus came first to the americas 1492 made a home in the dominican republic santo domingo la española yeah there was a lot of killing of a lot of people. Okay? That's history. That's what happened. My dad actually hated Christopher Columbus, the history. He was a politician. Um, he was also a speechwriter. And um, he felt some type of way, like that guy said, about Christopher Columbus. But Christopher Columbus Day was celebrated because it's history. Because we know what happens to countries when the government talks its people into erasing their history. No pride, no willingness to fight for anything, no go-getterness, no sense of self. You know what's crazy? The people that want to erase American history want to exalt theirs, including African Americans wearing their colorful, whatever those outfits are called, right, from Africa. You weren't born there, but you were, I guess, you know, right? Um, Puerto Ricans and their flags and their Hondas and Toyotas, so are Dominicans with their flags and their cars, right? They're proud of being Puerto Ricans. They're pl proud of being African Americans. They're proud of being Haitians. They're proud of being Dominicans. Ah, but if you're proud to be an American, you must be a racist. 